again this is abm graphics and welcome back to my youtube tutorial um today we just want to do some photoshop tip on this particular uh, paper cutting or any cutting uh, any kind of thing so this already will look so you know similar like just to look so beautiful you know and this tutorial i'm just going to take you through on how to paper cut in any design or any text that you want to do and however you won't understand it now unless we just go into it and let's get it done so first of all we are heading towards our photoshop and this is my photoshop and this tutorial is not about size it's not about anything but i just want to create it a, a background document so that you will understand what i really mean by paper card and i'll just go over and choose and create my new document and this particular document i'm going to use the photoshop default size for that and then i'll click ok just like this okay yes and the next thing to do is to unlock the layer the background layer by clicking over here so that it will unlock so that i can make changes to the background this one so in the next this thing i'll just come to fx then i'll go to color overlay over there just like that and then i'll add color to it so that i can get what i want so however i just come over this place then i'll choose any color yes that is beautiful so let me use this uh, eye color yes and i'll have it just like this okay and the next thing i have to do again is to write in the text in over there and then i'll get everything i want to do you get that yes and then i'll just type in uh i'll just type in graphics there graphics okay yes and when i type in graphics just like this the next thing i have to do is to wait for it to uh to, to enter it into my list and then i'll make some changes to it just like that and then the next thing i have to do is to reduce the size to somewhere 60 so that it will go in between of the distance just like that okay however it's too long so what i need to do is i just need a short something so i'll just remove the ix over i i c s over there then i'll increase it to 70 just like that and then oh uh, let me just make a hundred and see how bigger it is and i'll use it okay so let me use just use something like that okay and the next now to do the background this thing the background layer this one i'll just duplicate it by pressing ctrl g and it will be duplicated and that one i'll move it to the top of the uh, graphic text over the graph text over there and then the top layer what i need to do is to just move that one down keep moving it so that i'll have it covered one part of the this thing just like this and then the next thing i have to do again is to just try and slide it somehow this way so that this kind of thing i want this kind of effect I want I can easily get it without any problem you get that yes and I'll have it just like this and then I'll click OK yes and when I click OK let's wait for the transformation to done so that we can do anything to it yes and then after that I have just moved it in so I'll come over the top layer over there I'll add a shadow it to it by going to FX then I'll click on shadow and that one a shadow will pop up and this particular shadow what i need to do is that i just want to move it somehow top and then the blinding mode i'll change it to normal and then it will appear very well and the opacity i'll just make it somewhere 100 yes and then i'll just make it come somewhere down just like that okay and then the next thing i have to do again is to click then I'll have it just like this, okay. And then, however, I'll just adjust it by moving it to the uh, last part of this place, and then I'll have it just like that. And then the next thing I have to do is to rasterize the layer by right clicking and rasterize the layer just like that. And then when that one is rasterized, uh, then I'll not do anything to it just like that. You see, just rasterize. So over there, I'll just come and cho choose my. Uh, eraser tool over here and then I'll choose a, a what is the name soft uh, distance for that and then soft brush over there and then I'll just I'll just increase it a little bit then I'll just try and clean up some parts I don't want to appear so I'll just clean up somewhere here 
yes i'll just clean up somewhere here and then i'll clean up somewhere here too you know sometimes you have to watch whilst cleaning maybe it can enter some of the distance like this place you see that it has come together so uh, you just have to be watchful whilst doing so you can decrease the brush uh, size and then you clean up just like that over there just like this okay yes and you can have it just like this so you can see the effect it looks like the text is inside that particular distance and it looks so realistic and over there you can also decide to either in, uh, decrease the size and just to make it look nice and more beautiful and then you can make it come out somehow just like that and then it is going to look beautiful and or however you can also decide to just try and tilt the text just like that and it will look somehow tilted and it will be there just like this and it's beautiful and then when you have something like this it means that this is just how we do the paper cutting this is just a photoshop tip that most people have problem with and after doing this it's going to be look so beautiful thank you very much for watching this is abm graphics and this is nice and very simple tutorial have a nice day bye bye